just another property tour video right here on the channel. And in today's video, I'm in the city of Nairobi, Kenya in Karen. And I want to show you what $1.2 million, about 588 million Naira and about 120 Kenya shillings can get you in the city of Nairobi, Kenya. Now I'm just gonna give you a little bit of what the house comes with and then we're going to tour the house and let's see if it is something you like for yourself, all right? Now this house actually comes with two garage, which is very obvious from the outside, and it has a family lounge and a family main area. It also has a swimming pool and a clubhouse with two boys' quarters just by the side of the property. This house actually has six rooms and a very contemporary design, all right? So let's just go right in and tour the, the property, all right? But obviously I'm not gonna do this video alone. I'm actually right here with the listing agent for the property and he's gonna come right in to the video right now. And so we don't miss the tiny details that, that the house has, all right? Welcome Hi, Steve. to my channel. You? Thank you, thank you so much, Steve. So, um, I mean, I would like you to, you know, show my audience the little details and let's like show them why this house is actually worth 1.2 million dollars all right before we start let me introduce myself all right. my name is peter and i work with a company called Peter homes i'm also a youtuber so can, you can check uh Peter homes real estate link on to YouTube. The channel. yep and uh before we see the interior of the house yeah i would like us to tour the exterior of the house okay. for you to see the amazing property we have okay so we can start from that side okay so that we can go around the property all right so one thing I, I see and I love the most about the property yes. is the, it has like sufficient green areas. That's something that's always missing in Nigerian properties. Oh, okay. They don't really, because they're trying to, like the developers are trying to manage space, mm -hmm. you know, so I can see so many green areas with trees planted around. That's something I really do love. On our left, you have the two de detached DSQs. Okay. And uh, actually on top of the, the detached DSQs, we have uh, two tanks. Tank, which water cover tanks, yeah. Yeah, water tanks because yeah. because we have uh, 10,000 uh, 10, liters of, ta uh, of, of water, water. That, uh, uh, which are, are 6,000 that are underground and we have two overhead tanks hmm. uh, for 4,000 4, liters. Interesting. Yes. Then from this point, we can be able to see now the pool, uh, which, is, which is on the backyard of the house. Yeah. So we have uh, both, uh, both the adults and kids, and uh, kids pool. pool. Yeah. You can tell it's very well maintained with the... Uh, with blue tiles hmm. to give that feel of water, you know? I mean, Yo. most times when I go to properties, I don't see their pool, a property that's actually going for sale. I don't see the pool this clean. Then on this side, mm -hmm. we have uh, the clubhouse. Now this clubhouse, it's mainly used in case you have visitors that are not indoors and you want maybe to do some cooking and all that. Yeah. And uh, in case you want to also chill in his, inside here instead of the main house, you can just chill here and do your thing. Hmm. So let's see it inside. So this is the clubhouse. It comes with a fireplace yeah. and a proper kitchen. A proper kitchen that yeah. you can use with one sink and a microwave. Right. So from this point, you can be able to do your cooking and everything and now be able to serve your guests from the outside. Outside, there. yeah, while having like a barbecue, yes. you know, party, and now, pool party and stuff. And also these parts, it's a, we call them, these just windows, it's not a door really. So these just to allow natural light. So in case you're just inside there, you can be able not to view people from the, yeah. Yeah, in the outside here. Yeah. So this is where we have the steam bath. Okay. All right. Then here we have uh, now the washroom, which is mainly used after you use the, the steam, steam bath, bath, but yeah. it's locked, unfortunately. Locked. Yeah. But uh, in case now we have a potential buyer, yeah. we'll be able to be able to access Open it. Yeah. So yeah. if you guys are really, if you like the property so far and you would love to, you know, come check it out, don't worry. Watch at the end. We're going to leave descriptions where you can actually check this out. Yeah, sure. Now, so, I mean, let me just do some commentary this is the backyard like and it's really beautiful with like the green spaces yeah the, like trees really i mean it has like i guess that is the master bedroom up there yeah actually it that's the master bell uh, master bedroom's balcony now you can be able not to have the pool view view yeah but, and also something i didn't mention mm. like from this clubhouse yeah you can be able to do another small construction up there Upstairs. because we have uh, we have an interior uh, in, interior space in the house yeah. that houses the gym but now some people would prefer maybe to do an outdoor gym instead of doing the gym Indoor. in the house so, can mix so you can maybe do something. like something up there you can just do a shed and you can just do a gym out here really nice yes. i mean you guys right here in nairobi have ample of space to play around with and yeah, i love thank it thank you thank you thank and you I, really appreciate I that it. compliment like, you, you can, this is almost 
look at his face, like, well. <laughs> you know, like, I've been watching so many videos that you've done in Nigeria. Yeah. And I think uh, your properties are amazing. Yeah. And I'm so happy to see you compliment our houses. Yeah. And I think uh, this is one of the best uh, units we have in Kenya, two other that we'll ever do in Kenya. Well, let's go inside and see what inside of the property has for us. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're just going to go right into the property and I'm sure it's going to blow your mind, right? Yeah, sure. So from the entrance, yeah. you can see we have a very huge door, mm -hmm. a very solid door. Yeah. Uh, even by, by by the look of things, we can tell it's a very heavy door. Yeah. And also now it runs all the way to the ceiling, making it like a, like for this corridor, the, the interior corridor, it makes it very well lit. Yeah. Then you have very a video much. intercom. Yeah. So when you done your curtain inside, mm. and maybe you have a visitor, yeah. they can at least you, you can at least be able to see them From even outside, before. Yeah, sure. You can pretty much speak to them. This is a speaker right here. Yeah, of course, of course, you can reach out and speak. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. All right. So moving into the property now. This, I guess, is the lobby. Yeah. Actually, now this is the lobby. And now from this point, you can tell that uh, the flooring is done uh, like uh, this wooden floor. Wooden floor. This yeah. wooden floor. It gives an advantage because you see, like, uh, we have trees all over. Yeah. So you can tell, like, uh, sometimes it can be a bit cold. Yeah. But now when you have this kind of floor, it makes it, uh, it, it, it makes the room warmer. Warm, yeah. So in, in case you're walking here, like, barefoot, mm -hmm. you can feel the cold. And something I also should point out is the fact that it has enough room for natural light. I mean, look at the volume of, you know, <laughs> this is like a floor to ceiling window. Would I call that a window? Yeah, it's a window, it's a window. Yeah, so sure. you, can, you could decide to put curtains there or you could leave it the, the way you want to. I mean, you come in and you're having so much light. This yeah, is sure. really awesome. Yeah. And now we can proceed on from this point. So moving on to the first room. Okay. We have the, the guest bedroom. Okay. So this one is mainly for visitors, mainly for visitors, and it's the only bedroom we have downstairs. Okay. Downstairs, yes. Yeah. So it comes in suit, mm -hmm. it has a washroom, yeah. uh, wow. a sink, a single sink, mm -hmm. and also, also a bathroom. All right. And straight on, we have uh, the family room, okay. or rather the TV room, most yeah. people call it that way. Yeah, in Nigeria you could call it a parlor, you know. <laughs> ah, all right. Yeah. So this room is mainly now for the TV, for the for entertainment basically. Pretty much what I think the developers of the property wanted to do is, so when you have a guest, you don't really want them to come into the property. You could, they could just wait here for mm -hmm. you while you know you come in. Yeah. yeah, sure. And also you can tell all the windows we have uh, uh, on the or not the rooms, they are floor to ceiling floor windows, to ceiling, leaving enough space for natural light to get into the property. Yes. Got it. Now combining now the natural light with the with the white paint yeah. makes the room very bright. Very very bright. I yes. can tell you. Yeah. Okay. Then here we have the clock room. Okay. Now this is mainly for visitors because. So what all do you call it? The clock room. So we're going to call it um, the visitors' toilet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this one is mainly for visitors because all bedrooms are end suits. Oh, okay. So yeah. so this one is for visitors who are not spending the night, mm -hmm. so they can just use this washroom. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Then now uh, on your left, we have uh, the, in the 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 interior the interior come down, come the interior down. gym. You remember we talked when you were out on the outside, yeah. we talked about you can raise something on the clubhouse mm -hmm. to do a gym, yeah. but in case you don't want to do that, you can use this, this one as a gym. Okay. Yes. Pretty much. Well, if you were me, I'm probably going to use this as an office space. Okay. And use the clubhouse, the rooftop from the clubhouse as a gym. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I mean, if you get the property, right. you can get creative, you know? Yeah, sure you can. And you guys should admire the staircase. You want to say something about this? Yeah, actually, this wooden floor, uh, 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 this wooden staircase. Mm -hmm. So, like, okay, it is supported by the metal. Yeah. But uh, but it's wooden and also with, uh, with some railing of grass, which makes it uh, very attractive. Awesome, yes. awesome. And it's, some, it's what you see immediately you walk into you the walk property. You walk into the property, really yes. beautiful. Okay. All right, so now moving on to our right. Okay. Wow. Now this is the lounge. Wow. This is the lounge. <laughs> so the lounge comes with a, an electric fireplace. Yeah. So this one is electric. Okay. So you can imagine now when uh, you have all the furnitures inside, when the house is staged properly, and now this one lights up. It's, it gives a very nice feel. And um, one thing you guys have noticed, if you're watching this video outside Kenya, you should notice that I haven't, you haven't seen any split units or air conditioner around. Kenya is really cold. <laughs> so I, I, I did, they don't really have need for those things. And really good, it brings down your cost for electricity, you know? Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. So this is the point whereby you have the lounge, and now your dining now comes there. Now oh. this is where you have the dining, dining. area. Okay. And now uh, in this property, we have two, two kitchens. Hmm. So we have uh, the, this is the... the breakfast kitchen okay. and the main kitchen. Okay. So from the dining, you can come to the, 
to the first kitchen, mm -hmm. which is the breakfast kitchen. Yeah. And also now you can be able to access the main kitchen. Main kitchen, okay. Yes. Beautiful. Actually, the, the, the spaces for this house, they have been uh, utilized, mm -hmm. so we don't have dead spaces. You know, you go to some properties, they are so huge, mm -hmm. that you have some rooms that you don't even know what to do with them. Yeah. So this one, it's uh, like they have utilized the spaces. Awesome. So awesome. here we have uh, the dishwasher. Okay. This is the dishwasher. Okay. So it comes fitted, the house comes fitted. And this is the exit door? Yeah, this is the exit outside. door. Yes. Yeah. So wow. so now from the SQ, now your house manager can be able now to come from the DSQ Straight into inside the to the kitchen. Yeah. And also can be able now to also access access the laundry area oh, without sure. even interfering with the main house. That was a good idea yes. by the developer. Now it comes also with the with the microwave. microwave yeah. And uh, and also an oven. All right. And uh, this one is uh, the steam extractor yeah. and the hob. Awesome. The cooker. All right. Yeah. So where are we going to show our viewers next? I think now we can be able now to go upstairs All right. to show them what we have at the, uh, uh, on the first level, on the second level second rather, level. rather okay. of the house. Yeah. Okay. okay, now this is the staircase. Yeah. Uh, now you can tell that uh, the staircase is a bit longer, hmm. but slanted and uh, makes it very friendly. Something I should add it. is also comfortable to climb. <laughs> yes, it's very friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right, so up here, it's where we have uh, four bedrooms because uh, you remember you talked about the first bedroom downstairs, which yeah. is the guest bedroom. Yeah. And now on our left, mm -hmm. it's uh, the first bedroom, okay. which, uh, which actually, it's a, it's a replica of the, of the guest bedroom. Downstairs. So in terms of the size, uh, like everything is a replica of the, mm -hmm. the guest bedroom. Okay. So everything we have here is what we have here. there. And uh, directly opposite, we have the third bedroom. Mm -hmm. The third bedroom okay. now this comes bigger, it's a little bigger. bigger. Yeah. yeah, it's sizable. Yeah. And uh, now it comes with an advantage of a balcony, but uh, this one is locked, but you'll be able to access, access it from it the from other bedroom. Okay. So it's locked, but you can be able to access the balcony. Okay. So this also comes in suit. In suit, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Also with the storage, everything. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, all right. Now we move to the fourth bedroom. Now the fourth bedroom, it's actually the smallest of the bedrooms. Mm. So mostly, mainly, like I think uh, the idea of the the, the fourth bedroom, it was made for kids. Hmm. So they are just near the, near the master, master bedroom. bedroom. And also you can tell they share the, the master bel bedroom's balcony. Hmm. They also share. Yeah. So this one is the smallest of all the bedrooms we have. And it, it's awesome. Like, you see how the view of the pool also has a view of, you know, almost the garage. Yes. And that's awesome. Right? Yeah. So it also comes in suit. So from this point, you can tell the balcony is slender here, mm -hmm. but now on this other side, it gets wider because now it has the opening from, from the master bedroom. Oh, awesome. Yes. I really love the view, I mean. Yeah, the pool view. Yeah. So you can be able now, uh, as, as the owner of this house, you can be able to chill here mm -hmm. as you watch your kids swim, or swim there yeah. or maybe run around the I compound. I mean, there's actually quite a number of things you can do with this space here. Yes. I mean. And so also, it, remember we talked about raising a structure from the clubhouse? Yeah. So that so space up that. there, you can utilize it to make a, to make a gym. Structure, yeah. Yes, awesome. another structure. Okay. Now, from this point, I would yeah. like us now to go direct to the master bedroom. Okay. It's actually one of my favorite rooms in this house. <laughs> I mean, master bedrooms are mm. always the favorite room. <laughs> yeah, sure. They say that this is where the magic happens. So I think I, it, it, we can also call it a magical bedroom. Right. So now this one, it, it has two balconies, mm -hmm. uh, to, but both of them are shared. So this point, you can you, we can access this balcony, yeah. and also the other bedroom on the other end can also be able to access this balcony. So you can tell it's a very huge balcony. Mm. So some people maybe can decide maybe to do a pagora here up here, yeah. so that you can also do like some seats outside there mm -hmm. for just for for chilling outside yeah. for an outdoor sitting. Yeah. Now this also gives you like a, a view to the service, the, to the service quarters. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bathtub. Yeah. This is the walk-in closets. So from this point, you can see the bathtub. Mm -hmm. And now what I meant with his and hers sink is this two. Oh, okay. So in case you both, both of you here, the man and the woman, mm -hmm. so you can do your hands there. The man does his hands here. And now from this cubicle, the glass cubicle, you can tell we have two showers. Yeah, one for Two the showers. Man, one for so the you can woman. take a shower, both of you. At the same time. Yes. Interesting. And yeah. we have, once again, two toilets. Two toilets. <laughs> So uh, we can say hers and his. And also uh, at the top here, we also have some space here. You can be able to place your, your, your stuff up here. Yes. Wow, I love it, I love it. And then these the walk-in closets. Right here. They're big enough. 
Oh, okay. Fair. But maybe for some ladies, they might say that uh, they need additional need space. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is fair enough, though. Yeah, it's fair it's enough. fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. It's fair enough. Yes. Now, basically, that's all for this house. Yeah. And uh, I think I've shown you everything from the pool, <laughs> from the amenities, yeah. from the interior of the house. Yeah. Now, give me an overview of what you think about the house. <sighs> well, first thing first, which is the most obvious, is the ample space you have to play around. Yeah. I mean, you have such an environment. Just look at the backyard. You have mm. such green area to play around. I mean, what you can sure. do with this space is unlimited. Yeah, all right? right. I love the space. I love the green allocated areas. And um, I mean, I love the architecture. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, thank you, now, I appreciate it. in as much as most of the rooms, the mm. rooms are not really big as to what you're going to get in Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. But I mean, that's really fair because the views alone from the room is like awesome. And then you have so many balconies yeah, you're inside right. the property. You're right. So I think that can, you know, go for the fact that the rooms are small because mm. you have the balcony at every space. Yeah. And then something I also appreciate is the the light and the natural light that gets into the property. Mm -hmm. I mean, this building, I would say, is um, say maybe 30% glass, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah right. where you're right. having so many, so much light into the property. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really great. So um, those, those are just the things that I really do like about the house. And then the estate, which is the current. Mm -hmm. Awesome, I mean, the neighborhood is so quiet. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can he hear the birds, you know? Yeah, and the birds are chirping. I yeah, can hear them. It's awesome. The size of the swimming pool is yeah. great. I mean, you have, Another <laughs> common man. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's a it's just a road. Yeah, huh? it's a go for me. I really love the property. Yeah, for thank the, you so for much. The price point. Yeah. yeah, sure. I really like uh, the fact that uh, you know, like uh, it's like you're comparing uh, two countries. Yeah. We're talking about Nigeria. Yeah. We're talking about uh, Kenya. Yeah. L l like you're comparing two things. You know, mm -hmm. l l l like uh, like two two different markets. Yeah, basically. And the fact that you're talking about so good things about uh, our properties. Yeah. Like uh, like how we have so much open area. Yeah. Without constructions. Mm -hmm. Like. I really appreciate that from you. Thank you so much. And yeah. thank you for giving us the opportunity to, you know, film the property that you're listing. Now, as I already told you guys, this property is going for $1.2 million, which is about 588 million Naira and about 120 million Kenyan shillings. Kenyan shillings, Kenyan right? Shillings, yeah. So um, if you're watching this video and you think that you want to get the, 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 the property, um, you can find all the description below this video, his contacts and every other information you need to come to this thing yourself is right there, all right? So guys, don't forget, we're actually trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. Channel. Guys, make that happen for us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. I actually have more Kenyan, like awesome videos coming up right here on the channel. So you all should stay tuned for it, all sure. right? Um, my name is Steven and um, Peter. Until next time, until the next property video that I'll do, I'll see you guys soon, all right? So, peace out. <laughs>